the bearing basically helps in the rotation of the alternator or the rotor rather without the bearing the rotor would not be able to turn you would notice carefully when i went to pull the cord that the rotor was able to turn that was because the bearing is safe and in good position if the bearing is bad you would discover that it's difficult for the rotor to turn and sometimes even when the rotor turn this generator is so powerful that it can basically carry everything in your house ranging from refrigerators to shillers to pressing irons you name it this generator is the best fit for your household and let me kick start the generator to show you guys something If you notice just now, you observe that the voltmeter of this generator was able to read right, and that is made possible because of the alternator. Without the alternator, this generator basically cannot power your household appliances or equipment. And that is the reason why, on today's class, we are looking at the components of an alternator. Without wasting much of your time, let's dive straight into the video. First thing first, I will have to lose out this part of the alternator to give you guys an inside view of how the alternator looks like this is the alternator of this generator the inside view and this is how the alternator of most generator actually looks like just that this one is a little bit bigger this is the view of an open alternator you may not see everything inside but i will try my possible best to identify them using this screwdriver okay this screwdriver should help us out first thing first this is the start uh, the rotor rather the rotor or the armature it is the rotating part of the alternator so what will happen now i will quickly go pull the starting cord of the generator so you see how this rotates all right hope you saw that that is how it rotates continuously that is how it rotates continuously when the generator is on and it works in tandem with the starter or field one the both of them working together produces what we call an electromotive force emf or most times called the ac voltage the ac voltage is then transferred to the slip ring there's a slip ring here i'm going to show it on the screen guys if you can't see it, that's okay but there's a slip ring here okay that is where the brush is mounted and what this does is basically to bring the current the ac um, current to this particular point right now this is what happens. next there is an introduction of a particular component called the avr the AVRO basically is the automatic voltage regulator. What this does is that it helps in basically regulating the output voltage that goes into our house. Okay, that is what it does. No two ways about it whatsoever. What it only does is to just transfer appropriate voltage to our house without the help of the um, AVRO there will be a spike sometimes there will be a spike in voltage and it will destroy some components or household appliances but with this avro it gives us a steady 220 to 240 volts and not beyond that so therefore if this avro is 40 generator would not produce voltage or it may produce voltage but the voltage will be too low or too high that is one of the signs to tell you that the avro is 40. another component to take note of outside the rotor the starter we've talked about the commutator we've talked about the brush we've talked about here now and then the avro is the bearing the bearing basically helps in the rotation of the alternator or the rotor rather without the bearing the rotor would not be able to turn you would notice carefully when i went to pull the cord that the rotor was able to turn that is because the bearing is safe and in good position if the bearing is bad you would discover that it's difficult for the rotor to turn 
and sometimes even when the rotor turns, it makes a loud noise so that is it another component of an alternator is the rear end the rear end the rear end of an alternator is that part that completes the housing of the alternator without the rear end every other components would not be mounted properly the aviary would not be mounted brush would not be mounted and some other utility component even the bearing would not be mounted so the rear end is one component and of course there is one thing you must not let happen you must not allow the rear end to worn out if the rear end is bad it damages your alternator whether you like it or not so when you notice there is a gap between the bearing and the rear end such that when the generator is on it turns out that the bearing at the rear end is a wobble please refer to your technician immediately so that there is a change of the rear end one component we are looking at next the component responsible for ventilation and this is what we call the alternator fan the alternator fan is hidden at the base of the alternator i don't know if you can see an object that looks like a fan but if you can not see it that's fine i'm going to drop a picture of it on this video as the as the rotor rotates the alternator fan rotates with the rotor thereby giving this alternator sufficient ventilation because there's something you need to understand when this work when it rotates and work for hours it is bound to dissipate heat it is just bound to be heat rather yes everywhere is bound to be hot your alternator is bound to be hot the function of that fan is basically to dissipate heat so basically these are the components of the alternator however you could basically include the stand you could basically include the seating to the alternator that is fine as well but in most cases when you talk about the components of an alternator you don't include the seating so just a quick recap the components of an alternator includes the rotor it includes the starter it includes the slip rings it includes the brush it includes the avr also called the automatic voltage regulator it includes um, the bearings it includes the fan and it includes the rear frame these are the components that make up the alternator if you've watched this video to this particular point please i bid you to subscribe like and share and equally turn on notifications so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see them till we meet in our next class guys it's goodbye from us one more thing please um if you want to get across to us directly maybe beyond youtube because you understand we have a lot of viewers on youtube i will not be able to give you guys utmost attention just kindly subscribe to our membership plan where we give you guys preferential treatment i would want to use that term <laughs> we give you guys utmost treatment you have our direct call lines you can call us send us a text on whatsapp anytime you deem fit and of course we are ready to assist you till meeting our next class guys it's goodbye from us take care